so good morning from Damascus. It's my my first real morning in second day. As we head north, uh, now you will see the effect of the war. You see the buildings that are destroyed during the war and so on. And where are the stopping points today? So now we will stop as first uh, destination in Malula, this Aramaic city. They still speak Jesus Christ language, okay. Aramaic. We got a long, so that a long is our journey. There. Where? Okay, I was scared. I thought you were pointing at him. <laughs> and I don't think that car is going to exactly make it no. 400 kilometers. So. I'll sit in the back. All right. Gives me some space to relax. Hello, Hello. driver. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? My friend. No, I'll get in the car. Thank you. Thank you. So we are a few kilometers away of the city center, right? And we started to see the effects of the war because the militants made it so far. You can see the destruction there. Oh, yes. Wow, we're only two or three minutes away from our hotel. Yeah. And this is what Mr. Abdul said yesterday. From 2012 till 2018, those militants took these places and started to send random missiles uh, above the, uh, this Damascus the city. So where are we now? It looks like a ghost town. I don't see any people. This is called uh, Ain Tine. It means the spring of the fig. So this is uh, the village before Malula. Okay. We're still not yet uh, there. But maybe you can see a lot of trucks here in this uh, town. That's because mostly the people here work as drivers uh, from Jordan to uh, Syria. Okay. Yeah. I'm not seeing any movement at all. Yeah, because it's Friday today also. Right. Okay. Friday is the uh, day off. Friday and Saturday to relax and rest exactly and especially it's snowing so that's another reason for people to stay home on this militant military barrier in September 2013 there was a suicide bomb bomber who's, who bombed himself uh, here in this uh, point and that was uh, the zero hour or that was the sign for all the militants to attack Malula so unfortunately they attacked Malula they attacked churches, mosques, they destroyed a lot of things here and they forced the people to evacuate the place. So you can see that uh, that hotel. At the top of the hill. Yes. yes, the Nusra faction. They took it and they made it their headquarter because it's the highest place. Yeah, you can so see everything. To take the upper hand. Wow, it looks completely empty to me. Yeah, exactly. Tell him if he can do a few of these like this, circles with the car. Yes. Like Real this. quick, yeah. No, no, like this, like. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just tell him. Just see what he says. Yeah. Ask him. Fi, no, 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 like this. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ah. Fi nan bi arda. Kick the snow up. Nftela arda. Nftela bi arda. summer house here and winter house in Damascus uh, but still there are the uh, original people that live here so they are they are few but like look at the eyes everybody is very surprised to see a car here exactly yes uh, because it's uh, you know it's snowy can we hitchhike some people yeah for sure <laughs> Okay, let's go inside. So the gentleman, actually he never left his shop when Nusra Front attacked this place in 2013. And uh, they actually targeted his place from the top, from that hotel. And you can see some kind of bullets here. Yes. They target this place. Bullets, bullets. He hit them and kept working. And how long did this attack occur? Well, uh, si around six months, till April 2014. Okay. The Syrian army could really enter and uh, take back the... <laughs> there is more than 100 bullets here <laughs> if he take <laughs> down the <laughs> So they uh, break the, into the shop and they stole everything from here. Anna Michael. Michael. So his name is Michael. Okay. Actually, Bal Bankrupt said that 
I have never uh, met uh, oh, someone like Michael <laughs> look like that. Where are you from? From Canada. Hello, hello. Yes. If you I want uh, the gentleman can speak Aramaic to you. Yes, let's try it for sure. Samana Aramia. Alan Bonhun Rapaina Hoka, the Blota Maluda. Blota Katimoy Atharoi Rahmor Hutit Elela. Uhasatan Hatch Ada Rahmicha Ada Ubijanura. Blota Upa Ether Dair Achtam Dairwatha Maulma. He said, you are most welcome in Malula in Aramaic. He said, I am Abu George, so you are most welcome here. I buy my mother uh, a cross in every country that I go to, that I can find a cross. Right. So maybe he can help me pick out a special cross to bring uh, home to my mother. Oh, this is good. Can you see in the Sorry. Mm -hmm. Or a wooden one like this. Yes. I think this is more beautiful. Well, we'll take we'll take two. Okay. I have two mothers, so I can't bring one one without the other. All right. Exactly. Thank you. Shukran. So this here was a suicide bomber, uh, and as the explosion went off, this is the destruction it caused back in September 2013. Yeah. And the reason they chose this hotel is because it overlooks the whole city, the community of Malula. has the, the highest vantage point. There's a shoe. can imagine a bar, yes. people sitting around the bar, enjoying themselves, yeah. and now nothing. And there is a swimming pool there. Eh? Yeah, I noticed that. So this was a five-star hotel. Before the war, tourists used to come here and stay in Malula, because there are a lot of activities you can do in Malula. But unfortunately you now, because there is no place to stay, we are just visiting two hours ago. October 5th, 2012. So this would have been the vantage point in order to take over the city. Exactly. You have the upper hand here. And that's why they targeted this place. And their plan was to really sneak out of surprise and attack this little peaceful village. And for what reason would they want such a small village, like the control so of a small they village? Want, this is a border village. The uh, Lebanese border are really near. So they sneak from Lebanon and they took this. And so they want to control these villages, you know? Yeah. They want to just spread and control and achieve, uh, you know, victory, especially in the media. Do we know how many militants it took to take control of this area? Not really, not exactly, I'm not sure. Yeah. Were some captured? Uh, yes. Yeah. Did any of them live or they don't know? Uh, we don't know, but most of them they withdrawn back to Lebanon. And sorry, what was the name of the militant group? Nusra faction or Nusra Front. This is affiliate of Qaeda, initiated late in 2011. Now, what would you say is the most dangerous group to attack here in Syria? Well, I mean, I don't know if I can answer this question. Yes. They are all believe in this dark ideology, extreme ideology, right? So they are just different names and same ideology. Yeah. Do they work together in unison or they're enemies to each other as well? No, uh, I think they are enemies to each other as well because every uh, faction they want to control, it's all about power. power. It's nothing about religion or anything. It's all about power and politics and, and so on. 
So these are the effects of a car when there's a suicide bomber inside. There's really nothing left of the car or of the person inside. To imagine the power of this explosion were to take out the whole half of this hotel and anybody inside. So actually this is uh, dedicated to Sergio Zambajos, 325 AD. So that make it 1700 years old. It was a pagan temple and we know this because of that wood in the wall. So they used this technique to absorb the earthquake sh shakes, actually. So uh, they tested this with carbon and they found out that this is 2,000 years old place. So they found uh, from the features that it was a Began temple dedicated to the god of sun. And then in 325, they turned it into a church and they built this uh, beautiful monument. So it's dedicated to Sergius and Bajos. And they were two officers in the Roman Empire. And back then, the official religion was Beganism. So it was not allowed to be a Christian. So that you don't do any division in the Empire. But then those two uh, people, they joined Christianity anyway. And the Empire figured out that they joined Christianity. And he wanted to punish them. So he executed them, actually. So that's why they were f uh, among the first martyrs in the Christ whole Christianity. That's why you see a lot of uh, churches are named after their, uh, their names. Unfortunately, during the uh, event, 2013, September, they attacked this place, the Nusra Front, and they destroyed a lot of things. You will see outside the after, the before and after. But unfortunately, they stole the icons. So what we see now is replica. It's identical uh, image of the icons uh, previously. They are really among the most beautiful mosaics. So if you look to this uh, uh, icon, uh, for example, we can see Jesus Christ is dressed with this brocade dress, which is very, very expensive. So uh, the artist wanted to link an international personality, Jesus Christ, with a local thing, which is the brocade, the silk. <laughs> يتكن تيش بعائلة اخمل بشموخت على رأ أبلح لحمح أخل يومح وغفر لح تيوتح اخمل أنا حم غفر انتي ماخت على مينح لا تشعبرين لحب تغربتها بس حسنا نحن شهدا آمين آمين ولكم This door is a of Germany by radioactive or carbon-14 by 1,700 years old. The cedar wood, the lock of the key open, close. It's a key. Right. Now where was this door originally? For the church. Oh, the front door? This door. To get in? Okay. Not for monastery, for the church. For the church. Because Inside. the church, uh, the oldest monastery. So you can see uh, some of the remains of the church. Uh, this was distorted by Nusra front. It's uh, September 2013, and this is the church from inside. This is the huge destruction they caused. This is from outside. And this is the altar. And the Bible was left. Yes. This is the dome. Hugely destroyed. And it wasn't just the church, right? The mosque no, was also the mosque, destroyed. The mosque, the church, the, can you, the people. Can you try to explain to me sure. why? If there are such strong believers in religion is the reason that they're, in their mind, they're causing these problems, why would they destroy the mosque? 
Well, because uh, I mean, they, it's not religion. Those people are not religious. But they, they use, they use, hide, they hide behind religion. Exactly, they use religion uh, to pro to control people. Right. So, but they are not religious. Actually. But it also gives a very bad name for Muslim people exactly. because people on the Western side of the world believe right. that this is how all Muslims are. Exactly. Right. So this is how they are really distorting this. Uh, the narrative religion. is yeah. distorted. Okay. Right. What's next? So next we are going through this gorge and visit the other monastery, St. Thecla Monastery. Okay. And do you know the reason why the doors were so small? Exactly, because uh, they uh, want you to bend, to bend the knee to show humility to the place. Before but you go. also to protect the place because uh, 2,000 years ago, you know, the uh, people sheltered in Malula escaping the Roman uh, persecution. So that's why. Look at this. You can see the bullet holes. Still, yeah. I guess trying to break in. Right. Well, almost. Almost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> almost. No, you know the water from the yeah, yeah, yeah. on the bottom of the shoe. Okay. I'll make it. And if I fall, I don't fall that far. Try to walk on this. <laughs> He's going to ride this motorcycle up there? No, 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 it's not possible. He's going to push it? Yes. All the way to the top? Wow, good luck. Wearing the proper shoes for this type of embarkment. <laughs> up a slushy, snowy, wet, icy cold hill. I got my socks on. With no, no type of grip at all. So we're having a contest. Who's going to fall first? It's harder walking down. It's harder going up, I had no problem. Look. I have my, my hands in my pocket, which is This is what we missed. We should have brought one of those. We should have brought, yeah. That would have been more fun. That's a conclusion to a cold afternoon in Malula. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to continue our adventure on to another city, which was most affected by the multiple wars. Here you'll see the Syrian flags. I find uh, Syrians to be very proud. There are flags absolutely everywhere. So the journey will continue, but this video will end now. See you in the next one.